Oh What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I she what it do, man. This your boy, ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry here. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. Y'all know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ me, What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelly. What's good, word? Show me DJ Charles. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy. Baby girl. It's your girl B Simona with Catch 22. What's up, Houston? It's your boy Quay. I just wrapped a dope ass interview with Catch 22. What's up? It's your girl Leah J. I'm over here at Catch 22 with my people. We just had a lively interview. Y'all make sure y'all go tune in. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at the official Leah J. And yeah, just you know, follow me. Don't follow me. <laughs> Rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Ray was counting real low. I couldn't even hear that he was counting. I just had to He's assume that we was about to go in. But we back. Uh, shout out to OG Smoke Train. He put two two trains on our live. Choo choo. <laughs> he said he from Houston. He from Houston. Just came home. Got oh, came okay. Home from where? I don't know. I ain't playing with that. It's too goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, but we are back. We are back. It's Catch 22 Radio Show. I go by the name of Tay. We got Brian and we got Drew in the building. I'm Drew. And we got a special guest here today. Now, she look real rich. So, I'm going to have to ask her for some money because I, sure. I need my pockets laced. I like fancy buses, so you may have to sponsor a couple of those trips. Um... We got Leah J in the building. What's poppin'? Hey, y'all. You leaning like a gangster? What's up? <laughs> she only four foot eight. She ain't be that much of they a the, gangster. They the most dangerous. For sure. <laughs> they got their bad tempers. What's going on? Man, we happy to have you here. I've been watching your videos. I've been trying to get ready. I was going to come in with all my chains and stuff on, but I ain't going to show you up. I didn't know what you was going to wear. So, <laughs> how did you get your start into the music business? Um, it, I don't know. It's not even nothing that I plan to do. It's just something that I just did before. I like the sound of it. I like the reaction that I was hearing from people who was in the studio with me. I dropped something and they liked it. So, yeah. So, when it comes to music and the internet, because obviously you have your visuals together, how much is that helping progress your career? Visuals are everything. You know, mm-hmm. so right now that's what I'm working on, dropping more visuals. You know, when they can see it, they can feel it more. So right. True. Right. Gotta be dope. Do you feel like we need uh, platforms like 106 and Park back? Like when it comes to the videos? Cause I feel like you'd be probably like number number two with these videos. I can't take that. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be number one, but you can be number two we with these nice visuals. Uh, you got me on my watch street. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. They can make it more interesting than 106 and Park because everybody kind of like will get off 106 and Park. But yeah, right. I think so. It'll be dope. Right. So as far as visually, like, do you kind of write your treatments or do you have uh, directors that, that write your treatments? <laughs> um, it, it's bo- it will be both. You know, I got VJ, mm-hmm. 713 Films, you know. He help out a lot. He's He films everything. And, um, you know, me, I, I kind of, like, know what I want when I'm doing my thing. I'm like, okay, I want this, I want this. And I got my friend. She like, yeah, you need to do this. You know, so it's kind of like whatever my people feeling, whoever they're with me, which is always the same two people. You seem pretty bossy. Are you bossy? Yeah. Uh-huh. You seem like... You see how she set up? Yeah, like, like I'm going to tell you, look. Like, now that's stupid. Like I am very bossy. You single? I am. I am. That's why. Because she's bossy. She a little bit bossy. And she got cat told cl- you about yourself. She got cat claws on. Like, boy, I will get up here and tell you. <laughs> no, I am bossy and I am single. That's what's up. I see you with DSD1. How, how did that link end up? It's, it's my family. So I was born into it, you know? Um... It's kind of new for everybody that I'm doing music right. now, so I'm more in tune with it, you know, but it's my family. I was doing what were you doing before the music? Um, makeup. I was a makeup artist at a makeup studio. I um, have a boutique slash. Boutique uh, slash. I feel yeah, I got my girls when they do eyelashes, so yeah, it's everything, really. I thought you was about to say Pornhub. We were just talking about that, so I didn't know where you was going. I thought you followed you like. Because she was like, she followed like she didn't want to say it. And yeah, then, I had a moment, but nah, it's oh, definitely okay. not Pornhub. Why not? Pornhub. Why you say definitely not? I think Pornhub, Pornhub man, Pornhub giving chicks. I have never visited Pornhub. Oh, you should. Really? Really? 
Yeah. You should. <laughs> Wait. New direction. I don't want to go on Pornhub. Why not? Because I don't need to. Oh. I don't think it's a need. You know. Oh. Sometimes you just go for the entertainment. <laughs> it's really fun. I heard Momo's on there. I'm so entertainment. I I like that. I like that. So, what's your creative process like? Cause you be going in on these songs. It's real. And I talk noise daily. You yeah. know. So I just put it in. I just write it. I just write it. Put it on the beat. You know. Like I really talk like that. I really act like that. I really do that. I really am that. So it's not hard. It's really just being myself. Right. The music, the instrumental, just make it fun for me. Right. That's real. Are you a person that have like fifty people in the studio, or just you and your producer? I would prefer for it to be. Not even my producer, but really it don't matter. It, they hype me up when it's a lot of them, you know, but when it ain't, I can vibe better, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. When last time you been in a physical altercation? Because I feel like you just had a fight like last week. <laughs> I, I feel come on, with I feel come on, no, that don't sugarcoat. When last time you put your hands on somebody? It's been over... Three. Two hours. It's been over a year, I think. Like, I don't do that no more. I'm good. <laughs> I'm kind of disciplined now. I know that's right. Because I don't fight no more either. I used yeah, to fight every day. I'm good. I just, I will. <laughs> I, we, I, we know you will. <laughs> that's not a question. I do I look aggressive? I look yes. Aggressive. Yes. Sure. Really? Uh, you born and raised in Houston, Texas? Yes. What side of town? South side. South. That's why. So when you say Southside, that could be a long range of stuff. Where are you from? Reroad. Southside, like Yellowstone. Oh, Yellowstone. Oh, yeah, you should fight. <laughs> All right, so. Now, do you have any projects that you're working on currently? Um, I just dropped my EP on January the 24th. Okay. Of course, I wanted to drop like back to back, so I'm working on something new. I don't know how many songs it's gonna be. I don't know what I want it to be, but I got a whole lot of more music that I just. I'm just waiting to drop. Right. It's just how I'm going to do it. So you just dropped Deal With It on the 24th. Why, why the name Deal With It? Because you got to deal with all that crazy. <laughs> you see all that crazy over there? Because, <laughs> like, I just think, at first I was going to go with Leah J. You know, mm -hmm. it's just going to be that. But I'm just like, Leah J is new to me. You know, who is Leah J? So I feel like they'll figure it out through my music. But for right now, they got to deal with it. Like, everybody's so like, oh, she the best female rapper. She the, you know, it don't matter what you think. I know you're going to like what I'm saying. Right. I know you're going to feel what I'm saying. I know you heard what I'm saying. And right. you got to deal with it. So do you feel like there's more? There's room for more than just one hot female rapper at a time? For sure. So why do you feel like that we haven't capitalized on that? Because, you know, like Nikki had a run and now Cardi's having a run. But they say, oh, Nikki's done because Cardi's having a run. Why do you feel like that it can be a group of guys who's hot, but it can never be a group of females that's hot? I think that it can be both. If you popping, you popping. Like, I don't believe in it. Like, I've never been a fan of anybody in particular. But Cardi, I'm feeling her for some strange reason. I don't know if it's because I'm kind of doing the same thing she did. Like, I'm just popping out with it. And then, like, they feeling some type of way. Some of them rocking with me. But deal with it. Like, you know, <laughs> she doing it. So, I don't believe in that. If you feeling Cardi, you feeling her. If you feeling Nikki, I'm, I like both. But Cardi, I'm rocking with her. Like, I like Cardi. Is anybody else, any other female rappers in the city that you... In my right. city? Yeah. Mm, Stallion. The Stallion? Yeah, she got a little hit or whatever. Um, you could be the pony because she big and you little. <laughs> I think we just gave her a new my name. My little pony. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should so. definitely rap on the remix to My Little Pony. I definitely you should, right? That'd be so live. No. no. <laughs> I, I'm little, you know, but I'm a, I'm a big dog. Oh, you know, okay. Cool. Yeah. But uh, Stallion cool. Libra, she cool. Uh, Kinda Man. I've been listening to her lately. She cool. Me and Jay. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you forgot. Thick and nasty. So it's this group, right? This is group. I'm going to tell you. Uh, I like it's it. It's a group. I like it. Right? And I know that you got you got performances. I know you got some uh, new music coming out. You said you in the studio. So I have a group. The name of the group is Thick and Nasty, like I said, okay? But we are Thick and Nasty. We're a package deal, okay? No laugh, but they funny. <laughs> <laughs> so listen. We try, Drew, I need you to explain to Leah what we do. All right, Leah. So, look, check this. We background rappers, right? Uh -uh. Now, I'm not your hype man because I don't know none of your songs. Uh -uh. Right, so, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rap my verse while you rapping your verse. But while you rapping your verse and I'm rapping my verse, it's going to intertwine together. You like, think that'll work? You? you look you confused. So. <laughs> <laughs> you look confused. So, look at the face. <laughs> I'm going to be rapping my verse. Uh -huh. Undertone. 
both background. of us though. Like poetry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I think it'll work. Uh, it we're trying to change the game. We're trying to help you change the game. Yeah, we're trying to go viral. That's it. And you definitely have like the thing. So yes, last week this dude came in and told us how to go viral. You Facts. definitely had a look to go viral. We trying to go viral with you. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any performances or anything coming up? No, not really. Like I haven't. Like I'm just getting started with that. You okay. know, I ain't scared. I'm ready. You know, but I wanna make sure. Well, I'm starting that. What right. I'm doing, so I'm getting it together. It's all. Uh, it's, right. It's a lot. You know, I'm just trying to figure out what what audience I want to target. Like what. What, what is it that I'm going for? Like, who am I targeting? You know? Right. So, That's what I was about to ask you. Like, being new, do you have, like, a lane that you want to kind of fit in as far as an artist? Or do you just want to say, like, I'm everywhere. Like, I feel like I can touch everything. I honestly feel like I can touch everything. You know, I don't feel like I should have to pick an audience to target. Like, everybody going to feel it. You know? Right. It, it's really with. no way possible. I feel like, I feel that. I see. All right, so I see that you have this thing on your page called Darling Parlay. Tell us a little bit about Darling Parlay. Darling Parlay is me. It's my brand. Um, I have hose mag here, so I got these shirts, uh, hoodies, pants, belts, hose mag. Like, you ain't necessarily got to be a hose that's mad or have a hose that's mad. No. <laughs> you said it about ten times, but I was just—I yeah. thought you was gonna speed through it. But you were just yeah, like, okay, so my bad, my bad, my bad. You were Santa Claus up here. You were just yeah, like, basically, it's something that everybody can relate to. You know, usually everything I do is gonna be trending. Something everybody gonna relate. Everybody gonna feel it. So it's just a clothing brand. I be dropping new stuff like every few weeks. Do you make stuff for big girls too, or just your side? <laughs> I'm just making sure because you know it's a lot of brands out here that only make stuff for their size. Yeah, yeah like Charlotte Russe. <laughs> Charlotte Russe make big girl clothes. Shut up. No, they don't. I can't fit in none of them. Going back to. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a song by you. What are we playing today? Lit. That's my jam. That's my single. What's lit. it called? Lit. Oh, lit. I thought you said Brian, lit. Brian, you be playing it? Yeah. It make like, you feel ah. pretty? It make me look, yeah, make me feel pretty. <laughs> I was in the car today. Uh, ah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. you got your tongue out? Yeah, lit. Definitely did. <laughs> All right, so Leah, go ahead and introduce the new single that we're about to check out. So, this is my new single, Lit, yep. produced by Dre and B. Yeah. And it's by your girl, Leah J. Yes, I'm Me lit. Yeah, I'm lit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm lit. Listen to that. Made them blow a bag. Oh. Ain't even this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it had too many cuss words out you. Yeah, she had to stop. I'm still I'm still working on me. You're working, you working on me? I'm definitely working on me. You ain't supposed to be cussing on Sundays. Why not? We drinking Hennessy. Who drinking Hennessy? God knows me. <laughs> My grandmother said if you exactly. cuss Monday through Saturday, you might as well cuss on Sunday. Might as well cuss on mm-hmm. God made me this way. Mm-hmm. He did this. I'm his creation. <laughs> All right, so what's next for you, Leah? Getting these performances rocking. Like, I'm trying to pop out. I'm trying to, they need to see what's really good. I feel it. I'm the best. You the best. Yes. They, they will see it. The best. They will see. The I'm best. not even mad about who they think is popping right now. Because yeah. once I pop out and they get this first performance, I'm going to go crazy. Mm. I'm confident. Okay. So who you want to work with? Like, in just any person in the world, musically. Cardi B. Okay. And Key Glock. Ooh. Okay. Key, Key Glock. Glock. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> like, I love Key Glock. I think we're going to be together. But we ain't going to talk like about that right like now. You like how, you know, on the song? In a relationship. Oh. In a relationship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking into existence. He might I know this, but right? He probably played too much. So. You're like hood dude. Duh. Duh. They're the only ones that can handle her. Let me get your man with real like a job. <laughs> <laughs> I uh-uh. do need that, they you know, boring. but I'm, that's just too, I'm, it's okay. boring, right? I just don't know what I need. Uh-uh. I don't know. That's why I'm single, because I don't know. Listen, you just want to have fun. I understand that. Yes. Dudes with jobs are boring. You know what they do. I'm not boring. Yeah, because I'm going to be in the streets. <laughs> I'm going to be at work. The dudes, First yeah. of all, hold on. I'm, I'm about to be in the streets, in the studio. He at work. Shooting dogs with my partners. Go do your exactly. thing. <laughs> no, but we, you, this is the thing. Like, you don't want somebody who's still doing that, because. No, yeah. I don't have to do that. They don't have to do that. That's what I'm saying, like. Nah, so let's let about kick in the door. You both of y'all. You're going to be at the studio, you know, shooting dice, doing whatever. I'm going to be at the job. We got the kids. <laughs> I'm going to have the insurance. The kids are not going to be there. Where are they going to be? I'm not going to have 
Man, you're a, somebody <laughs> see that club, but you might have some children. I don't want no kids. Like, got, now, you, that's why I want no men. Because they want to. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, I got you. They definitely so, want to procreate. What you going to do about your insurance? <laughs> <laughs> I can put you on my insurance. I got a regular job. Look out for me. You feel so, me? I need you. All right, but so what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. She got United Healthcare. The kids <laughs> can stay. No children? You don't want no kids ever? I don't want no kids. So you're just going to be somebody's really good stepmom? I got a lot of God kids. Yeah. Would you date a man with kids? Yeah. She studied. Nope. <laughs> she, I mean, yeah. That ain't got nothing to do with can me. That's his kids. kids live with him. That's his kids. <laughs> yeah, but don't think I'm going to be a wife, stepmom. What? what? Cause. Hey, Leah J, that's a discussion we're going to have off air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to. Because, uh, <laughs> so, Leah, <somebody's> like, yeah. <laughs> where can they find you on social media? <laughs> the official Leah J on Instagram. That's what I, I rock on, I rock out on Instagram. I don't do Facebook or okay. Twitter. nothing like that. I got Twitter, but I don't really... I'm working on myself on Twitter. I'm, for, I'm probably about to delete my Twitter and just okay. start a new one. Yep. Yeah. What Your grandma be on your Facebook? That's no. why you, that's why you I just do don't like Facebook because no matter how many old pictures you delete, <laughs> they still pop up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need nobody putting up Throwback Thursdays pictures of me. I'm huh? going to tell you they something, though. Like right now, look, if you go to Google and you type your name in, Whatever your name is on Facebook, it's coming oh, up. It's definitely from coming Black up. Planet. Even though I, yes. even if you go look, if you go to images right now, yeah, after yes. you type your name in on Google, it's gonna bring up all your Facebook pictures. Yeah. Not, Why not even you hate Facebook. like that. Not Facebook, MySpace. I feel Black like Planet, I feel everything. like Leah J had a glow up, and she don't want nobody to see her old self. I, I, I'm, I'm about to go look at. I'm about to go look at old. I don't care, but I'm just saying no. Right. Nah, I'm good on it. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Leah, for stopping by and kicking it with us. We're about to go into a brief mix with DJ Anthrax. And when we got when we come back, we got another special guest. Let's get Catch 22 Radio Show. Let's go. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Yeah. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com.